There are two main types of medications used in heart failure. The first type contain medications which can help the heart work better as a pump. You may hear names such as beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, ARBs, spironolactone, and others which all belong to this group. The second type are medications that can help you feel better by treating symptoms such as uh, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. The most common drug in this group is a diuretic or water pill called furosemide. For a full list and description of the most common drugs, have a look at your booklet, Living Well with Heart Failure. You should be aware that some of the medications you will be prescribed can take time to get used to. Because of this, sometimes your doctor will start you on a very small dose of a drug and see how you do with that. If you do well, then the dose can be slowly increased until we finally reach the best dose for you. One reason for this careful dosing is that many of the medication used for heart failure can also affect your blood pressure, which could cause you to feel dizzy or lightheaded more easily. This is not unusual and most commonly happens when you change position too quickly, such as getting out of bed or out of a chair too fast. If you do have some dizziness, you should try getting up more slowly, such as sitting on the side of the bed for a short time before standing up. Now, if the dizziness is quite bothersome, or if you're lightheaded when just sitting still, well, you need to talk to your doctor or heart function clinic nurse. Now, if you have some dizziness, one thing you can try is to change some of your dose times. For example, instead of taking all your once a day pills in the morning with breakfast, well, you might try spacing the doses out by taking some pills in the morning and some pills later in the day, such as supper time or bedtime. Of course, one medication you do not want to change the evening dosing is your water pill, such as furosemide. Otherwise, you'll probably have to get up during the night to go to the bathroom. If you want some advice about all this, you need to talk to someone from your healthcare team, such as your doctor or nurse practitioner, your pharmacist, or heart function clinic nurse. Before you leave your doctor's office after a visit, make sure you are very clear about all the changes to your medication. That is, which new medications are starting, which ones are stopping, and which ones have had the doses changed. Have your doctor write all this down if necessary because it's very important that you understand all these changes. Also, you should try to keep a card or piece of paper with a list of your current medication and the doses and keep that with you. Well, I found I didn't even know what questions to ask because I'd never been sick before. So mm -hmm. all of a sudden I've got this thing and I, I'm thinking, well, what do I ask? You know, you want to ask lots mm -hmm. of questions, but... Mm -hmm. and, and you have to ask the questions. I'm not very good at asking the questions. <coughs> I take my wife along. She <laughs> asks the questions. And we were at the pacemaker clinic and they started to... They Tend to, I'm not being critical, they tend to talk over your head a little bit. You're sort of looking. Mm. Um, they talk to one another, you that, mean? That's right. Yes. You don't know what they're saying. And, uh, and I sort of lie there. And then, because my wife's very blunt, they then looked at her. Do you have a question? She said, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it was a ter terrific help to ask the questions. Yes. Yeah. Which so often you hold back from. And you yes. just have to keep asking and asking and asking and asking. No, I don't understand it. What does that mean? Treatment is focused on helping you live a longer and healthier life. And a key part of this is taking your medications as prescribed, a very important part of your overall health plan. Medications are very important in terms of long-term benefit, long-term relief of those symptoms to allow you to do the things that you enjoy doing.